Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 5th of 2020, well, it is titled Mons Rumker in the Ocean of Storms. So what do we see here? Well, a little to the left of center of the image, we see a volcanic area on the moon. The moon has been volcanically active in the past, although not within the last few billion years, but early in its history, it was volcanic. And in fact, the maria, the smooth, darker area that we see on the left side here, is actually the remnant of ancient lava flows that filled in lower lying areas on the moon. And then as we look out to the right, we see a more heavily cratered regions, which are much older and date back four and a half billion years in many cases to the origin of the moon itself. Now, this is the ocean of storms, one of the large, smooth areas on the surface of the moon. And it's uh, prominent recently because of the landing in this region. And in fact, just a little bit uh, to the north of uh, the domes of Mons Rumker there. And on December 1st, just a few days ago, that is where the China, uh, China's Chang'e 5 lander landed and actually collected samples of material. And just a couple of days ago, on December 3rd, the, uh, the ascending part of that spacecraft left the moon and begins its journey back to Earth, bringing a good amount of lunar material. And this will be the first lunar sample return since the 1970s, the first time material had been brought back from the moon to explore. And that was done in the late 60s and early 70s by the Apollo missions and later in the 1970s by some of the Soviet missions there as well, bringing samples back for further study. So we'll be able to learn a little more about another region on the moon by being able to study those areas up close. Now in this case, as I said, we're looking at one of the old, one of the old lava flows and you can actually see some of that around the volcanic area that we see as Mons Rumker. And there are still some flows and some cracking in the surface that we can see as well. And note that there are very few craters scattered around that area. And that tells us that it's relatively young. The more craters we see in an area, the older that surface is and the longer it's been exposed to objects from space to impact it. So more heavily cratered areas that we see on the right hand side are much older than the relatively smooth areas that we see towards towards the left. So it will be interesting to see what we learn over the coming months and years from the samples brought back by Chang'e 5. So that was our picture of the day for December the 5th of 2020. It was titled Mons Rumker in the Ocean of Storms. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be close up of a stellar nursery. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.